Previously on Moe's Rants. She could have legit been scared because we did see, you know what I'm saying? We did see in the season trailer, she slapped Marvin. So maybe they did run her off. Maybe they ran her off to L.A. I told you, and if you come back, we'll kill you. Mm-hmm. But Jukebox goes to the house. She looks in there. Marvin and Ashley painted the room, hung up some shit that he thought she'd like. That's his words, not mine. That's his words, not mine. <laughs> so Juke is looking like, oh. Okay. Now the room does look blue, but I think if you open up the windows, it'd be like a powder blue. So, you know, like a gender neutral color, not like a blue or a pink, you know, like the, y'all get what I'm saying. But she's looking and she's like, uh, okay. I'm like, yeah, I just want to, you know, make it feel, you know, feel like you were here. She don't say nothing. She gathers her clothes. She dipping out. She got to go back to her spot. You remember she ran away from, Marvin spot moved over with auntie, but she doesn't say nothing to him. She looks at him. She runs up out of there and gets out of there. Marvin is trying. This is hard people. He don't know how to be a father. He's learning. Yeah, it's a little late to learn, but this is, this is uncle Marvin. Y'all you heard what he told Canaan. You heard what he told Canaan. We ain't the best, but we what you got, man. We trying. We trying. But you ain't trying to hear that shit. Juke like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Old man. But earlier in the day, she finally had the courage to go up there. Kenya Pierce. Marcus Oliver lives here. Leonard Kirk. S. King, man, Leonard Kirk, man, you probably an asshole, man. You probably see him. What's going on, Leonard? <clears throat> like, damn, Leonard, what what we do to you, man? John Bond. <laughs> like, damn, man, old man Leonard coming out here again. But you goes over there and she rings it. Now. At first, when she heard the name, she said, who is it? She said, it's Laverne. Oh! She was hesitant, but she, you know, she opened up the door. I don't know how I feel. I think my heart would be racing. But Juke comes in there. She's sitting down. She's looking at the little picture. And on the picture, it got some kids on it. So she been back in the city. She left when Juke was one. She's been back in the city for three years. It's like, damn. He was gone for 11 years? That's a long-ass time, ain't it? What y'all think? (laughs) What's she really scared? But she was hesitant. They come in there. And she has a picture of all these kids. It's like I was saying, you've been gone 11 years, but you came back to the city. And now you just with the kids at the little youth program. You're doing all this with the kids. You got pictures in there. And you heard what old lady said to Malcolm. She told Malcolm, you got to show the kids you want to be there. You can't just be their parent. You got to be there for them. You ain't even got no pictures. Of Canaan in here. Same thing was going on right here. She's just explaining Kenya. You came back. You got pictures of you and all these other kids. You ain't got no pictures of me. Not even that picture. Like when we were little mama. You ain't got that picture. Kenya come in with the double fisted Kool-Aid. That ain't got enough sugar in it. Like about girl. I was scared. I thought I was about to go to L.A. Be the next Paula Abdul. I thought I was about to get the oh, Whitney Houston. Ooh. 
I thought I was gonna get rich. I was gonna come back and get you. But shit, I ain't get rich, man. I ain't get rich at all. I tried and I tried. It just ain't work for me. And then I came back. No, and you know, it's been 11 years. You know, it won't hurt to have another three years. I'm gonna pick up these other kids. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm sorry. But God, he brought my daughter here. I said, Kenya, where are you going with this? She said, I got it, I got it, I got it. He said, we needed to be together. No matter what happened before this, it should be you and I. And I want to let you know, as your mother, I'm going to be there for you. I'm like, well, I don't know about this one, Kenya. This story don't sound too good in my book. Mm-hmm. Can y'all believe Kenya's story? <laughs> that was going to be the next Destiny Child. Hey, yes, she was out there at that time. I mean, you know it is. What it is. But I don't know. She may have been good. I, I'm trying to see how the storyline will play out if they can't make her bad, too. Well, I mean, she's already been gone for a while, but it had to be a reason for her to leave. We can't just be believed that, hey, 11 years I tried, it didn't work, came back, and nothing happened. As of right now, I'm leaning towards I, I don't believe Kenya's story. I say 60-40. Now 65, about no, nah, I'm kidding. I, I'm I'm 70-30. 70-30. I, I don't believe this story, Kenya. Because Rock has been more protective over jukebox than she has over Kanan. You know what I'm saying? So Maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe Kenya is bad. That's why they had to get her up out of here. And she's like, man, don't be messing around with her. You know what I'm saying? Just because y'all family, I mean, just because y'all blood don't mean y'all family. So Rock might be protecting you from Kenya. I don't know. (laughs) Juke did go get that dress for church, though. Hey, shout out to Struggle Reviews in here. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. When you hear that story from Kenya, I'm like, wait a minute. This got to be something else. This this is just, this is some shit for TV, mama. What's the real story? Tell me what really happened out there in L.A. But Jukebox is getting a dress to go to Mama's church. Juke came home, got her clothes. She coming in here, came to talk about, damn, where you about to go to? She said, church. Ask the good Lord to get famous up off of me. What did famous say when she said he pushed up even close? I don't even remember him what he was talking about. I know he was just saying, This is my place. I'm gonna uh, start rapping and be on top. I didn't, I don't know, man. Maybe I missed it. But they get to talking. And she's saying, yeah, I went to go see Kenya. You hear Kanan? He was like, oh, yeah, your mama. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm going to go up to church or whatever. Then she says, hey, Kanan, it feels like I've known her. Something about her eyes. And this guy Kanan thinking about his pappy. Like, man, it's something when I be sitting in that whip with my pop. I mean, not my pop, Detective Malcolm. I don't know if you my daddy or not. I don't know how to read that paper. He ain't even showed me the paper yet. But it got Kane and thinking about damn, that's the same feeling. Or I want to see if I can get that same feeling when I'm around my pops, if that is my dad. So Juke, she's saying, man. I think for Juke is because everything she's experienced with Marvin is like, man, all right, just something different. And it feels right at the moment.
<laughs> hey, I ain't even I ain't even looking at that. Forget the dress. Juke is letting her hair and her letting her hair down and letting famous get too close. Girl, don't be trying to switch up for your mama. Hey, she about to go to church. She about to go with her mama to church. She about to straighten up and fly right. Yeah, you gotta go in there. Yeah. Look, y'all gonna have a good first impression of me and my mama. <laughs> me and my mama, hey, <laughs> hey, we the real deal when it comes to the church. We ain't the girls going over to Canaan's house. That ain't what me and my mama do. Me and my mama go to church. We we don't do all that hanging out with the, you know what I'm saying, with the wrong crowd. No, we don't do that. We don't hang with the wrong crowd. Mm-mm, not over here. Nicole, I don't know no gun. Nicole, that's the first time I'm ever hearing that name before. Nicole, no, I don't know her. And I was not involved in that. They said it was an OD. And from what I read in the article, I mean, I don't know her. That's not what me and my mama do. <laughs> the calm before the storm. How bad do you think Juke's gonna get though? Jimmy on a beat, boy.